Hello, we are going to do a reverse canvas from start to finish. So give me just a second. All right. So this is just a 11 by 16 regular canvas from like a craft store, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my utility knife and I'm going to cut on the outside of the staples. So I'm gonna cut right here so then I'll be able to pull my canvas off of my frame. So I'm just gonna run it just like this, which it should peel for the most part. Rotate it. Now when you get to the corners, it gets a little tricky just because there's you're going through like umpteen layers. So you just have to keep working at it until you can get it off. Which is nice because the frame that they use for canvases is actually nice. It has a staple in the front, no big deal. Um, if you have a staple remover, use that to get it off. If not, you can pry it off. Okay, so I'm just gonna go One more edge. And there's my frame away from my canvas. And see there's staples in the corner. So I'm just gonna use my staple remover to pry them out. It holds them together, but when I take the staples out of the front, I just put a staple on the back side to keep it held together. If you guys are just joining me, we are doing a reverse canvas from beginning to end. A finished project. Okay, and then I'm just going to flip it over and it's up to you if you want to pull the staples out one by one. I don't particularly like to do that because it's kind of a pain, but I'm just going to pull the canvas off. Some people leave it on. But I don't feel like I get a good grip with my canvas when I go to staple it back on. The transfer we're using today is called Baby It's Cold Outside. Now I'm just going to staple the corners on the back side so then it keeps that those corners mitered in together, keeps the frame rigid so shouldn't wiggle at all. Okay, I'm going to move my canvas off to the side and I'm going to wax my frame or stain it. I like to use the Kill Sealing Dark Wax for chalk style paint. Um, typically you would use this 
if you're trying to antique something but I like to use it as a stain too just because it it makes it look stained it's really neat looking so I'm just gonna do the entire frame except for the back Oh, my light's not on. Hold on just a second. I think I can turn the light on. There we go. That's better. Now everybody can see. And you can buy this wax at Walmart. I bought it in the paint department. It was only like a couple bucks. I'm going to do the outside of my frame. I'm going to try to get a little more into the corners as best as I can. Doesn't have to be perfect, but gives it a nice finish. as best as I can So there's my frame. I put antique wax on it so it makes it look like it's stained. I don't know if you guys can see that. Then I'm going to set this off to the side to dry. And now we're going to get started on our canvas after I clean my hands up. Because I do not want to get any of this wax on my canvas. It's not as easy to clean up as our pastes. All right. Now I'm using the back of the canvas just because I like the natural color. Some people use the white for a crisp clean, clean look, but I'm gonna use this side. So I'm going to do, I'm gonna put my frame on here real quick just so I can see where I'm going to be working because I don't want to go outside of the frame. So I have the mittens, which I think I'm probably going to put approximately there. Um, and then baby, it's cold outside. So I'm thinking maybe like this. Staggering it and then putting some snowflakes to fill in. Or maybe I'll just do it over here. There. Maybe like that. What do y'all think? Or I could do. I like it like. I like it like that. And then I'll put snowflakes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the baby. Actually, no, I'm going to do it backwards. I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. 
And I'm not going to fuzz this because I want it to have a good, a good section onto the canvas. So I'm going to put outside right there. Can you guys see that? Sort of. Move it up a little higher. How's that? Maybe. Right there. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put outside right here. And let's see, what did we decide? That was snowflakes, that was mittens, that's cold. Okay, we are going to use the morning sky paste. And I wanna make sure this has a good section. Go over it one more time. Okay, just gonna smooth it on. Decided like this. Okay. And then this color we're going to use navy. it up because I don't want to get just the dye I want to get the paste okay so I'm just gonna smooth this on wipe off the excess now by wiping off the excess you know you get a good portion of it off if you can see your transfer through your paste Really close to the edge making me a little nervous okay wipe that off okay I'm gonna peel off the cold I like that color Okay, and then I'm gonna do Baby It's. And we're gonna do the morning sky on it also. So I'm gonna put this probably right about there. And this stuff is so easy to work with. These are screen print stencils. Now I'm just gonna wipe it on. And this is chalk paste. It's a removable typically with any non-porous surface. So if you have a chalkboard that you like to keep seasonal, you can change it up every year by using the paste. If you want it to be permanent, you can either seal it with a polyurethane or use ink. And then I'm just going to peel this up. Okay, well, I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And I'm going to do the mittens. I think I decided... Which way was it, Riley? Was it this that way? That way. Or was it this way? It was that way. This way? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to put this right there. Press it down as best as I can. 
I'm going to do two different colors on this. Because she's going to do the cotton balls. They're not cotton balls. They're just poop. Oops, watch out. They're just poop balls. At least this part didn't fall on my foot. You need to go inside. Go. I need to talk to you. Well, you can talk to me when I'm done. Okay. When you're done, Okay, so then we're going to do the mittens in aquamarine and storm. So I'm going to go ahead and do the storm first. I'm going to do a majority of the mitten in the storm. The excess. Now, some paste you'll be able to see the transfer when you wipe off the excess. Some you will not, depending on how dark it is. This one you can see some, but not all of it. squeegee real quick. Okay, and then I'm going to get the aquamarine and another squeegee. Just going to go over the little poof balls. Do the outline of the mittens and the aquamarine. Go inside. Again, if you guys are just joining me, I am doing a reverse canvas from start to finish. And it looks like it bled a little bit, but actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, now I'm going to put snowflakes. And we are going to use Ocean Mist, which is kind of a light bluish gray, and the white. And I'm just going to do them all over. Okay. So then I'm going to take my frame off because I want some to be on the canvas in the frame and some out of the frame. So I'm just gonna do them randomly. Like snow is falling. So I'm gonna do probably some of the big ones. 
in this color. Can you guys see that? No, you cannot. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to peel that off. I'm going to put another one here. I'm just going to take my squeegee without paste on it and just smooth it out because I don't want it to bleed under my transfer. Do another layer. Oh, missed an edge. There we go. Mosquitoes are biting. Just like that. Maybe do another one up here. Maybe we'll just do one over here where it's going off of the canvas. Can you guys see that? No, you can't. There. My workspace is not big enough. Try to do another one over here by the mitten somewhere. I'm thinking so. I think I'll just put one down here in the corner. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. If you're just now joining me, I did a reverse canvas, canvas from beginning to end. Okay, so that's one snowflake mosquitoes. Got him. All right, so then we're gonna do a couple. I like this one, this one's different. We'll do this one in white. Maybe we'll overlap that one just a little bit. I don't think you guys can see that, can ya? Here we go. Better? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do this one in white. The white should show up because the canvas is a natural almond color. Oh yes, beautiful. Maybe do another one here. I feel like I'm starting to sound like Bob Ross. Can you guys see that down there? Yeah. There's one. Let me do another one somewhere up here in the corner. What's everybody doing this weekend? We will be at our local 
Antique Tractor Show in Ottawa, Kansas. Down at Forest Park. We'll have a booth down there. Hopefully we get to stay dry because there is rain every day in the forecast. And then next weekend we will be at the car show. All right. Now let's do, ooh, I like that one. That one's different. Ooh, let's do a couple of little ones. Yeah. All right, we'll do this one. Maybe some little ones. So I think maybe we should make some of the little ones different colors. So we'll do that color, that color, and maybe some white. sure you guys can still see okay there and with the paste it's nice I can go over and over and over with this with the stencil let's see I think maybe Maybe I'll do some little ones down here. I'll do them the opposite way. Maybe like here. I know that white one is still a little wet. Can you guys see down there? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do the blue color. And I'm gonna go over it with the white. white yeah Just a couple on this side can you guys see over there no hopefully you can see I'm gonna do that there, just right on the end. I don't know if it'll be seen, it may not be seen, maybe the, just the edge of the snowflake, but there's that. So then I'm done with that one. I'm gonna do this snowflake because it's kind of an oddball and I like it. And I'm just gonna go over top of this one. I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do white or should I do dark blue what do you guys think would the dark blue take away from the cold what do you guys think Maybe I'll do some more white. I'll do some white. Or I could, ooh, better yet, I could mix the colors. I could do the white on the ends and the blue in the middle. Why not? It'll be an ombre snowflake.
I should have done the, the dark blue first. Okay, and then I'm just going to mix my colors. That's different. Put one here. Okay, we'll do the the gray in the middle first, the blue gray. And we'll do the white on the ends. If I can see where my ends are at. And then just mix it up. Different. I like it. Alright, and we're gonna do another one. Maybe here. Do the blue. And do the white on the outsides. Blend it just with my finger. I think we need one over here. Maybe just on the edge. I'm going to turn this. Because I can't reach it. Maybe right here. Can you guys see that? Yeah. As long as my arm don't, is not in the way. Okay, got the blue. White. Blend, peel. Let's see. You think that's enough snowflakes? You guys think it needs more? What do you guys think? Do you think it needs more snowflakes? Less? Well, I guess I can't do less. Either more or the same, or just leave it alone. Turn it to the side. What do you guys think? Maybe some more. Okay. Let's do maybe some more white ones, maybe some little ones, some little white ones. Whoops. Well, apparently, yes, they would look good with glitter, Marie, but I have no idea how to do that. Hopefully my phone does not die because I just said low battery, so I should probably hurry. All right, so I'm gonna do white on here. Do it there. There, I like how it's getting a little bit onto the letters. There. Maybe, maybe here. Do one more. Actually, let's do it. We'll just do this one there. Maybe a couple here. Okay. 
Yeah. I think that's good. All right, well, before my phone decides to die, now we're gonna put the frame on. Which, I've got my frame. I'm gonna put it right over the top, center it. That's about where I want it. And then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to staple it. And I'm going to pull it just a little bit in the far corner. Pull it here. I do not want this to have wrinkles in it. Oh no, I'm out of staples. And I'm just using um, quarter inch staples. My phone can last this long. Another one there. It looks like I hit a staple there. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut off the excess. Mom. I'm busy. Seems to be the easiest if you do it like that. I don't know if you guys can see me, but I'm just cutting off the excess off the back. I'm trying not to run my scissors. Oh, sorry. Into the canvas. There's tons of projects you can do with canvases, reverse canvas, and there we go. Well, if you guys can see, turn it to its side. Baby, it's cold outside. And I can always go back over it later if I wanted to add glitter. Just put, you know, a little Mod Podge, your polyurethane, and sprinkle a little glitter on there. And that's it. That's a reverse canvas from beginning to end. If you guys are interested in our transfers, please type interested. If you're interested in hosting a party, please type party. You can also find all of our transfers on our website, www.chalktour.com forward slash Rustic Wood Boutique KS.
Um, be sure to follow our YouTube page. Our videos are all found on there. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a good evening.